The Insane Biology of the Octopus The octopus is one of the most insane and most amazing creatures in the entire world. With slimy eight legs and having the capability of spitting out ink, these creatures have never failed to amaze us in every possible ways. But how much do you exactly know about the biology of octopus? Do you know that octopuses have nine brains and that they die just after birth? Well, continue watching the video till the end to know more. Octopuses are cephalopods, and just like other cephalopods, the octopus is bilaterally symmetric, having two eyes and a beak. His mouth is at the center point of the eight limbs. These creatures seem to have nine brains, and in addition to their central brain, they have a mini brain on each of their arms, which allows each arm to act independently. These creatures have another most interesting thing that is that they have blue blood, since they have adapted to the cold and stay in low oxygen water. The male octopuses die quite soon just after mating, but other female ones have to live on just to lay eggs. They are not quite ready immediately. Most female octopuses die around the time their eggs hatch. These octopuses produce too few eggs, which make them lose reproductive fitness. Also, in many ways, the octopus is quite close to an alien life as we may ever see. These creatures are the most remarkable, bizarre, intelligent, and mobile of all vertebrates. They live in almost every ocean in the world, in the deep sea, in the kelp forest, in coral reefs, and along rocky shorelines. They are as diverse as the habitats they live in. They can be quite massive or absolutely tiny. Some of them are even venomous, and some of them are just downright strange. At any given moment, these creatures can range from being spiky to appearing smooth. They are also quite different from us, since most of their 500 million neurons are not in their brains, but in their arms, which help them in spelling and tasting and, obviously, thinking. These creatures are so intelligent that their cognitive ability seems to be matching that of many large-brained vertebrates. They have left scientists stunned as to how a creature so far from us on the evolutionary tree could evolve into such complex behaviors, with their intelligence emerging in an entirely novel and independent way from our own. Cephalopods have been around for a long time. Fossil records seem to claim that they evolved over 500 million years ago, much longer before any fish, reptiles, or mammals appeared on Earth. The early ancestors of the octopus were quite small and had a shell, which it used to protect itself as it crawled along the ocean bottom. Cephalopods are, after all, members of the mollusk phylum, which is a group of creatures that are usually slow and simple, with soft bodies and a heart protective shell just like snails, clams, and oysters. However, around 140 million years ago, the lineage that produced the octopus lost their shells, making them nimble, agile creatures, but in the process also made them rather vulnerable. Survival of these soft-bodied creatures for many millions of years, therefore, seems unlikely in a sea full of dangerous, hungry predators. But this vulnerability and selective pressure may be precisely what has allowed the octopus to become the remarkable creature we know today. Because an octopus has almost no hard parts at all, except its beak, it can squeeze through any hole as long as it's larger than its eyeball. This allows the octopus to hide in very small crevices, a certain evolutionary advantage when escaping large predators like sharks or dolphins. But the soft-bodied octopus evolved an even more clever way of evading detection. They are masters of disguise. Watching this clip of an octopus, you can just see how quickly and drastically it can change colors. In slow motion reverse, you can see the color change spread across its body. The 3D texture of the skin also changes to match the surrounding seaweed and coral. In the blink of an eye, it has almost completely blended in with its surroundings. Chromatophores are organs that are speckled across the skin of the octopus, like freckles. They contain tiny pigment-filled sacs, like little balloons full of different colored dye, which can be black, red, or yellow. The pigment sacs are surrounded by radical muscles, which can stretch the sac to reveal the pigment's color. Just like balloons full of dye, when stretched, their pigment color appears bright and vibrant. Depending on which sets of sacs an octopus opens or closes, it can produce patterns such as bands, stripes, or spots, helping to turn itself into a rock, a coral, or kelp in an instant. And that's it for today! Did you enjoy watching this video? Did you find the video interesting? Did we miss out on anything? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to get your perspective on this matter. Let's discuss these in yet another video, so stay tuned. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you've liked the video, then do make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button too. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of such awesome videos. Until then, see ya.